When we've downloaded all the tables, we can just confirm it by going into the A5 folder and then du-h. As you can see, we have 1.6 terabytes and they are each, each 40 gigabyte. So now we need one of the tools to use it, to use these files. In this case, we need to use Kraken. And we will get it from GitHub because that version is patched. So we will just say git. I think actually we need to install git first. Well, you can just install git as follows. So we will say git clone and then Kraken. And then we will go into the directory. So the first thing that we need to do is that we may need some compiling utilities. We may need make, also make GCC, GPP, or G++, and some, some other things. So we'll just confirm that we have them. You may also need CMake, so we will also just make sure that we have that installed. Now that we have that installed, we can either compile each directory manually, or we can just use the makefile. If we take a look at the makefile, we can see that if we specify no ATI, then only these directories will be built. That's because if we if we use the all option or the default option, it will try and compile the A5 and the table generation folders, which we cannot compile without the ATI SDK drivers. And also, we will also need a compatible and very old ATI graphics card. In this case, you don't really need it, need it on this server because the CPU is quite fast and it will take 60 to 70 seconds maybe to crack each hash, which is quite reasonably or quite reasonable. So we'll say make no ATI and see what happens. If we encounter any errors, we will of course attempt to fix them. If there are any errors, you should look at the error message because it may say that you're missing some dependencies. In this case, this is a clean comp compila compilation. So we'll just say clear and then we will run a test on A5 CPU. As you can see, it's working, so that's very nice. Now we can move on to some of the other stuff. We only need to use, in our case, we only need to use Kraken, table convert, and utilities. In table convert, actually, we don't need to use this directory uh, most of the time, only when we're converting it. But we will be using the utilities because we will need to use find kc later and xor.py and maybe a custom written program that I've derived from the matrix.cpp. So first we need to go into indexes and here we have a configuration file. Now this configuration file is in case that we want to store the rainbow tables 10 on each on three different drives at partition one. Now in our case we only have one drive for all of them. So we will just confirm what the drive name is and that's div sdb. So we will just nano this and we will instead of deleting the rest of the lines, because we need to see how it looks like, we'll just say device, div sdb, and 40, because that's all of the tables. And then we will just delete the rest of the lines, because now we, look, now we know exactly how it should look like. And once that's done, we will say control O, enter, and we actually just control O again. It needs to be named tables.conf, and say yes, press Y, and then control X. So once we have tables conf specified as follows, then we need to run behemoth.py and specify the directory 
where we have our A5 tables located. And now we will have to let it run for a few hours. It will take a while, but most likely on this server it will take a few hours. So now we'll just sit back and relax and wait. Once it has finished running, it will look something like this in the directory. So we have the index files, and then this file will have been updated as well. So we can just take a quick look. So you can see that it's specifying which table and also which offset it is located at on the hard disk. So now that that's done, we can actually go and run Kraken. Now, as you may have noticed, the host name has changed, and that means that I am on a different server where it has already do been done because this takes time. So we will go into the Kraken directory now, and then we can try and run Kraken as follows. And now it will allocate all of these into Kraken, and once it's ready, we can do a test run. So we'll just run test, and this should roughly take around one minute. Now keep in mind this, this server is running outside of VMware, so the virtualization overhead may have a minor impact. I'm not sure yet because I haven't tested it. But in this case, it's like, it's like 60 to 70 seconds. It is a bit of time to wait, but you shouldn't just sit and wait. You should do other stuff while you wait. So now we'll just wait a bit and see. And next we will try and crack some sample bursts just to see that it's working properly because we want to see that it's actually working you know we want a, an encryption key so we'll, we'll do that next so once it has finished running you will see something like this keep in mind that these numbers may change so we will just uh, do a real test now and we will try and crack these as mr frank said so we will just move this a bit, just move it up, because otherwise you can't see it for the webcam. And then we will try and crack the second burst, because this first burst is not crackable. So we'll just try and crack that. And wait around a minute or so. So now you can see that it has found a key at 37. So we will try and use that next. So we will just copy this and then we will just make sure that we have copied it. Yes, we do. Remember 37, just quit Kraken. And then we will go into the utilities folder. So we will use find KC and then we will say the found key is this. It was found at bit position 37. The frame count, that's the modified frame count, not the original frame number. So we will copy this. And then in order to find the key, we will need to specify another encrypted frame, which has been XORed. But first we'll just try and run it without. And as you can see, it found some potential matches. But we would like to know which key is the correct one and we can do that by specifying another frame. And then we can specify the modified frame number and the burst. And when we hit enter, we can see that it found the encryption key. And that's how you install and test and run Kraken for test purposes. In a future video, we will do some actual Kraken use, use, use we will do some actual Kraken usage, but for now, this should do. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and subscribe.